Hi, and welcome to the Data Strategy Gurus podcast. We're today live from ClickView, and we have uh, James uh, Fisher. James, maybe you can introduce yourself a bit better than I can and tell the people uh, what you're doing at Click. I, I, will, I, will, I will do my best. We are really excited to be sharing at ClickWorld uh, this week all of the exciting things that are happening within uh, our product roadmap and our innovation. And that's exactly what me and my team are, are focused on delivering. Yeah, you, you say innovation. Innovation for me, it's a big a hype word. What, what if you talk about innovation, uh, especially uh, at a software product company like Click? Uh, what, what, what do you think about if you talk about innovation? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're all about helping our customers solve problems with data, uh, and you know that's not an easy job. Uh, you know, our customers are, are, are individuals that work within our, our incredible customer base around the world um, uh, have huge demands uh, being placed upon them all the time. There's uh, loads of data. We've had so many conversations about the amount of data that's available. Um, there's the challenge of data literacy that, that sits out there. Um, so the, the problem of solving real business challenges with data is not easy. Uh, and it's our job to make that easier for them. And that's really where we're trying to innovate. We're trying to deliver new capabilities that support an end-to-end -end pipeline uh, that makes the process of getting the right data into the hands of the right people so they can generate insights and importantly take action on it, a much more seamless uh, process. Um, and that's, that's what we're here to talk about. Yeah, you say new capabilities. Typically, you mentioned already one is, is just getting the data into the platform. I'm, I'm very familiar with ClickView. I mean, the dashboarding, the green stuff, uh, mm -hmm. all the colors, uh, what you say with the association and the model behind it. Now, talent is looking around the corner as well. So that will be very likely a big challenge as well. You get lots of new capabilities with the platform on it, but uh, on the innovation side and integrating uh, a product like Talent, how, how do you look at that? Yeah, so absolutely. I mean, we've made incredible investments over the years, uh, a 30 year journey with, 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 with Click, you know, from the very first version of, of Click for you uh, to where we are today with the, the, the cloud, uh, the cloud platform. Um, and, you know, the, as you say, the, the, the secret source of Click is the engine and that allows our customers to ask and, uh, any question of the data and get the insights that they're, that they're looking for. So we're not going to lose sight of that. Um, but in listening to customer feedback, which is one of the key drivers of our innovation pipeline, um, we recognize that we can help create more value. Um, we can help support customers in their uh, challenges around moving uh, on-premises data into the cloud, but also now help them work with um, uh, the recognition that enterprise applications now almost exclusively exist uh, in the cloud as well. So what do we need to do in order to support that end-to-end -end, uh, pipeline? We started on those investments by putting a catalog in place uh, in 2018. We then brought Unity into the, into the product family, uh, which gave us uh, some on-premises based uh, data integration capabilities. We've now successfully moved all of that into the cloud. Uh, and then as we look to the future, the opportunity to welcome new team members, new customers, mm -hmm. new partners, and new capability uh, to the portfolio is, is, is super exciting. Um, but we always do that in a, a very thoughtful uh, way. There are gonna be lots of questions as you, as you say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my goal is to make sure it's not dramatic um, uh, that uh, you know, we will deliver cloud first, but not cloud only. Okay. Um, we will support customers' data wherever that resides, uh, and uh, most critically, we'll support customers on, on their journey. Uh, what I call the customer principle, mm -hmm. uh, and that's really about protecting customer uh, investments and allowing them to consume new capability in a very seamless way. Yeah. Uh, you say, well, I, I like to hear what you're saying, uh, just supporting the client where they are. I mean, typically back in the past, and I'm talking about 15, 20 years, and not only, only click, it was selling the, the product as such, but not really thinking with the customer to solve their problems. What type of problems are our customers facing these days? I mean, 10 years ago, it was all the hype about big data. Now we see uh, artificial intelligence uh, looking around the corner. Are these technologies that you are looking at at Click uh, to embed it in, in the product? And what would that bring as new capabilities to a data analyst, to a CIO, to a CTO? 
Yeah, well, there's a, there's a lot that we could possibly sort of say there, right? <laughs> um, I think for me, there's a, there's a whole host of different challenges that organizations are, uh, are trying to, uh, to face, whether that is, as I said, that movement of data from on-premises into the cloud, how to work with cloud-based uh, data sources, how to, to move from you know, raw to analytic-ready to business-ready data, how to deal with the challenges around uh, you know, data literacy. So there's a, there's a whole host of sort of different and sometimes competing priorities in uh, a, a number of those uh, a number of those areas but a couple of key themes you know um, automation uh, is key uh, uh, very early in my career I got to work with a with a great uh, financial uh, director CFO of a, of a large UK company who said our task is to automate all the manual drudgery and give mm-hmm. time back to the accountants to do their job uh, and actually I, I love that that, that sentence mm-hmm. it's carried that through me um, uh, all my career because automation I think is a key component um, that is frankly a little bit underused in terms of how we think about uh, analytics and data technology today. Um, putting data into the hands of more users. Democratization of data is, again, not a new term. Uh, many of these things have been around for, for a long time. Um, but how do you serve a broader community of, of users? Um, so uh, embedding analytics, workflow, um, but at the same time, as you said, AI can play a key role in that, as long as it's delivered in, in the, right, uh, the right way. Yeah, uh, you say the analytics, um, and we're talking about, well, back in the past, it was only data warehousing, business intelligence, how Click grew as well. So now I, I understand that you're fulfilling the complete pipeline to give the insights to the customers together with the automation. Yeah, absolutely. So we've made big investments in broadening the sort of breadth and depth of the of the portfolio. Um, you know, back onto to, to AutoML, as you, you mentioned it. Um, for me, that's a great example where we're focusing the application of that in the portfolio, not just bringing it in for the sake of it because it's it's a most fun. searched term or it's hype, <laughs> um, but actually saying, well, how do we uh, help business users, people that are using Click today, um, be smarter? Um, how do we help them get more value? Um, so applying very easy to deploy uh, uh, AutoML models, uh, investing in sort of productizing a lot of the methodology around that, the data preparation and manipulation that's required to do that right, um, are all things that we're thinking about. So it's not just about the hype, but it's ultimately about the consumption, the adoption. And that, for me, is the really key thing. Yeah, you say the adoption. I think about data literacy, as, as you say, which is kind of intangible term for a lot of people. It's giving it to more people to do something with the data and help them in automating, in providing the framework, in uh, everything what you can help them to consume that in a better way, if I understand what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, the definition of data literary is the ability to access, read, work, uh, and drive action from, uh, from, from data. And there are various versions of that. But it really just describes the notion of a data pipeline, uh, but it recognizes that not all uh, consumers of data have the same needs. Organizations are going to work across multiple different levels with multiple different use cases. Uh, and it's our job to make sure that the platform can support all of those uh, in context to where the users are. Yeah, and if you know, it's always hard to give predictions. If you say for looking at Click and with all the acquisitions, what, what Click did, uh, where will you be in the next three to five years? Or what are the ambitions maybe, or the vision? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, for us, it, it's very simple. And, and rather than sort of skate sc- out a, a broad vision for four or five years' time, um, our job really is just to help customers solve problems with data uh, right now. We live in a world where people talk a lot about uncertainty. Uh, I actually think we're in a very certain world. We know what the challenges are. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know that the economies are challenged around the world. We know the geopolitical uh, conflicts. We know the amount of data that uh, is being generated all of the time. Um, so for for us, it's about driving immediate value, and as long as we stay core to that uh, to that goal, uh, then I think that will guide our future strategy, uh, you know, incredibly well. Yeah, yeah, uh, very great. Uh, when you say just creating the value, is that something that that use cases or the framework that Click is providing? You just said uh, 
helping the customers in solving their problems. Uh, do you have anything available on, on that level? Yeah, so we work continuously, a lot, actually a lot with our broad partner ecosystem, uh, many of whom are at this event right now, yeah. uh, you know, to be able to help address particular use cases, uh, particularly in the auto or ML space. You know, we've developed a whole series of, of line of business orientated use cases for where auto or ML can help start solving uh, specific business problems. As we think about the evolution of, of the uh, of the platform, one of the key principles around um, uh, the ability to support our customers is not just to think about product, but actually to think about the services that go along with that. Uh, how do we build services ourselves? How do our partners build services um, that we can then leverage to, to drive that uh, rapid time to value, solve one problem, earn the right to go on and solve the next problem? Yeah. Uh, very, very interesting, old James. I think we're quite up uh, on time. One last question. What is your favorite kind of music or band? Oh my! I, I, now you're asking me a very, <laughs> uh, a, a very difficult question. If you'd have asked me that when I was about 19, I'd have given you some uh, unknown, unknown band act Whoa. from the from the from the UK. But uh, uh, as I as I get a little bit older, I get a little bit a uh, little bit relaxed. I kind of go back to my uh, my nice dinner jazz and some things like that. So uh, who knows? It could be a very eclectic mix depending on uh, what my mood is. Okay, James, thank you very much. Uh, very interesting discussion. Thanks. Thank you.